So when COVID-19 arose, you were one of the first, if not the first university president to say to the students, go home, You're, you, you can't be on the campus anymore. Uh, was, were you criticized for that? And were you sure that was the right decision when you made it? Well, actually the University of Washington was the first to send students home, but they had had a breakout on their own campus. Um, and I think we may have been immediately following them the next one. Um, yes, I was criticized for uh, acting prematurely. Um, my response to people at the time was, gee, I hope you're right. Uh, it wasn't actually that difficult a decision. We had been monitoring the coronavirus since it broke out in China. We have many students who come from China, many faculty who go back and forth to study China. So we were watching it in part because we were concerned about somebody coming from China, one of our students, and potentially infecting others on the campus. And uh, we had watched as the disease had uh, taken root in Massachusetts. The numbers now seem quaint, uh, but in the four days before our announcement, I think we went from 13 diagnosed cases in Massachusetts to 28 to 42 to 91. It's a geometric progression. Um, we had students who were gonna leave at the end of the week to go on spring break. We were worried if they did and they left and then came back to campus, we would have a big problem on our hands. So it was the timing of spring break that forced us to act. But uh, we quickly realized that the cost of being wrong was asymmetrical. If we sent students home prematurely, we would have inconvenienced people and squandered resources. If we waited and we were wrong, um, people could die. So that made the decision easier. Implementing the decision was hard.